I seek the blessings of the masters of the past, masters of the future and masters of the present. Essentially, the body is a very, very important component of what I called as, what I call as me. Body has to be maintained, maybe the right food, water, exercise, our physical asanas. So, the body is an important ladder to go up towards the soul. Unless you maintain your body properly, you cannot work on your mind. In between the body and mind, you have prana. So, to maintain the body, let us go through the whole process how to work out with our food. It is an essential thing and many people in spirituality, they neglect this area of food. Whatever you eat, it will reflect in your prana, it will reflect in your mind. The right things, right inputs will make the right body wrong foodstuffs will change the nature of your prana and attitude of your mind. What is right for the body? Of course, we know many people talk about the sattvika ahara, amrita ahara. What is amrita? Is it something of uh, the gods eat a special diet? Amruta means what is not mruta. Mruta is death, dead stuff. Dead stuff will take you towards death and alive, alive stuff, more prana you will have more the better prana and the better mind. So, what is the scripture which can guide us properly? Let us go towards most of the Indian and western scriptures also while understanding how we should take our food. It is said yad bhavam tad bhavate, as you sow, so shall you reap. So, how you should have your food? If you are planting a neem seed, it is bound to be bitter. In Upanishads, it is said, whatever food you consume, the grossest matter will become the fecal matter. The middle part will become the flesh and the subtle part will become the mind. Whatever disease you have around you, it is all because of the poisons and toxins you consume. Whatever disease it will result in, it is all because of the wrong inputs. How many times you need to eat, how you should eat, what is the intention while eating your food, it is all told in our Sanatana Dharma. How much you should eat, yukta hara viharasya, yukta chestasya karmasu, 
युक्त स्वप्ना वोदश योगो भवति दुख बी ए मॉडरेट आहार बी ए मॉडरेट अदर थिंग्स आलो यू नीड टू बी ए मॉडरेट एक्सेस ऑफ एनीथिंग इज रॉंग अति सर्वत्रे वर्चेत सर्व रोग मलवश फॉर एवरी डिजीज द टॉक्सिन्स आर रेस्पॉन्सिबल how many times you need to eat if you can't digest let us say you have a production assembly in front of you the first raw material is not exhausted again you rush the raw material it will totally jam inside the whole factory assembly will jam inside it will get crowded and nothing comes out so the basic point here is you need to digest why a food is required the food we consume is required for growth of the body for the nutrition for the sustenance of the body and for the continuation of all the daily activities of our life so if you take anything will it be okay it's absolutely wrong it is said in bhagavad gita ayu sattva balarogya sukha preeti virvardhana rasya snegdha sthira hrutva aahara satvika priya the satvika aahara the purest aahara how it should be ayu it should increase the longevity sattva purity bala strength arogya health preeti contentment virvardhana all this should grow and how it should be rasya snegdha sthira hrudva it should be so much with prana it is a fluid because the more the flow inside our body the higher levels see a solid is the material is it one state liquid it's a free flow fire it is in the atomic state air the molecules are feel distant in space absolutely far the highest state is space so in the fluid it should be digestible format sun cooked food how the sun cooked food fruits raw vegetables sprouts nuts juices this type of this type of diet will be better for your body satvika ahara is nothing to do with uh, something like a vegetarian and non vegetarian is a later thing but basically it should be sun cooked if you are boiling any vegetable it will denaturize the proteins are denatured everything will change its form the minerals vitamins if they are boiled at or melted at uh, the melting point is there boiling point is there beyond that it gets denatured you don't get it so basic understanding is you should consume whatever is sun cooked like fruits raw vegetables green vegetables green leafy vegetables this is the best for a spiritual person there are two more diets like rajasvika and tamasvika tamasvika the cell growth and rajasvika cell growth is abnormality in tamasvika the cell growth is sedentary 
the catabolism, anabolism and metabolism should function properly when we are eating our diet. Rajasvika that diet is not preferred. Katvam, Lavana, Tyushna, Tikshana, Rushya, Vidahina, Ahara, Raja, Sesta, Dukkha, Shoka, Maya, Pradha. See what the diet is. Bitter, saltish, Tikshana, Rushya, deep extremes, Vidahina, changed its form. This is Rajas. Then it will contribute to Katvam, Lavana, Tyushna, Tikshana, Rushya, Vidahina, Ahara, Rajya, Sesta, Dukkha and Shoka, unhappiness and worry, woes are going to be there. So, you should not have this type of diet. Then the third diet Yatayamam Gatarasam Puti Paryoshitam Chayat Old, stale, overnight, you kept it long like fast foods, all these diets are bad for you. Gatarasam that the rasam, the nutrition is gone, putrid, paryoshitam, polluted. Uchistamapi polluted to tamas. They will you will be sedentary, you will not be active, the cell functioning will not be right. So, what are you supposed to have in your diet? The best is Satvika Ahara. How many times you need to eat your food? See, we consider we are eating only once. Breakfast we do not count as diet, night chapati people do not count it as a diet. This is absolutely wrong. Everything and anything you eat is considered to be one diet. What happens you just see some people they have 11 o'clock they also have some snacks, evening 5 o'clock they have some snacks, night 11 o'clock also they have some something before retiring to bed. All these are diet only. It is said Yeka Bukte Mahayogi, Dvibukte Mahabhogi, Tvibukte Maharogi, Chaturbukte Sadarogi, Panchamabukte Paramarogi. So, what do we call ourselves as? And earlier days, breakfast they used to call as Falahara. What is Falahara? Falahara means Fala as Ahara. But what do we consume? Idli, dosa, utappam, upma this is not to be taken in the best format it should be a natural diet. What are we taking throughout our day? How much of water you consume? Water is the most essential, but highest it is neglected completely. Water one should consume at least three and a half liters per day. 3 and a half liters per day because the transportation system is water. Your lymph fluid, see in a human body, 75 percent is only water, just as in earth, the 75 25 ratio is water and land, the same ratio is inside our body. So, we need to consume more of water, but we neglect water. See in a grown up tree, every day do you give 
more water or continuously you give the solid matter. The same thing we need to understand while experiencing while eating our food also. What type of food we consume? Actually who is considered to be healthy? There is a great definition in Ayurveda. Sama dosha samagnischa samadhatu malakriyaha prasannatma indriya mana swastha ityabhidiyate. Sama dosha sa tridosha should be balanced. Jataragni in full charge. Sama dosha samagnischa samadhatu the pancha dhatus the bhumi, udaka, agni, vayu and akasha they should be balanced. Malakriyaha, the excretion through all the indriyas, the nine exits, everything should be proper, you should sweat. So, for everything water is required. So, if for sweating water is required, for transportation water is required, blood is 5 and a half liters blood and 20 liters lymph fluid is there in our body. More water around each cell of our body, how the, the transportation is taking place, the food and nutrition are taken to the cell via the transportation system. When the transportation system is efficient, then the carbon dioxide and toxins, toxic waste are coming out from the cell of the body and you are getting sufficient energy. So, unless this system is very efficient, are we not spoiling our health? So, in a spiritual person, you spend more time in your meditation, in your pranayama, in your purification of the mind, then what type of food you need to consume? you need to consume more of fluids, juices are more preferred. The juices, fruit juices, lemon, hot water, frequent hot water, frequently every one hour you need to take lukewarm water and throughout the day three and a half liters water is more required if you want to be in spiritual life, because more toxins, more poisons in the mind. See, if you are getting bad thoughts, wrong thoughts, what does it mean? More poisons are there inside your body. So, if you are taking out, if you are taking fridge water, cold water is bad for spiritual people warm water is 10 times the flushing of the system is better. See whenever something is clogged, a artery is clogged or a toilet is blocked, what do you do? You push more, you buff, pump about one bucket of water and it will flush the system. Similarly, more liquids are required, you need to consume more of fruits, fruits are containing 90 percent water. That is why the fruits are good for the health. It is and it is pre-digested, it is sun cooked and it is already, it is just absorption takes place in the small intestine. So, you need to understand the basic science of food and salts have to be totally minimized because in every product you have salt. Let us say you take a beetroot, <coughs> you take a carrot, there are there is already salt in that because it is absorbing the salt from the grounds. So, you need to be very cautious while taking salt. You, you are not supposed to take 
3 grams more than 3 grams per day. Kidney can filter maximum 5 grams per day and 3 grams is the safe limit. If you want to consume also it should not cross more than this. The Himalayan salt is more required rather than the normal sodium chloride the rock salt. Your sea salt is the Himalayan salt is Sindhavalavana. This is more required and you need to cut down the food to 50 percent. Cutting down the food is very very important. If you are dividing the whole stomach into four quarters, Purayet Annen Ardha, Truti Vodakenatu, Vayo Sanchanayar the Chaturda, Avasheshayetu. You need to only fill two quarters and the third quarter you need to keep it for water and why o sanchana yadha chaturdha avasheshayetu for the movement of the air you need to keep the fourth quarter and it is now experimented even in the west us cornell university by jack shields and uh, dr clive mckay that they have experimented on few rats when the food is cut to 50% their longevity is increasing and when you are the movement the when the lymph fluid is moving faster through exercise or the pranayama the transportation system is more efficient and the longevity is increasing. Increase the fruits in your diet and right fruits the melon fruits are better then this preference to acid fruits and the third preference is the sub acid and the last preference should be given to sweet and right fruit combination is also very very important do not mix too much of proteins and too much of carbohydrate. Carbohydrates require tylin enzyme and proteins require pepsin enzyme when two these two are taken together the tylin and uh, pepsin enzyme come together basic and acidic enzyme they neutralize the digestion will reduce. So, kindly take care of these points and improve your diet and natural diet is very very important and fruits raw vegetables please prefer these things. And in the coming classes we will go more into the deeper aspects in the spirituality and wish you all the best. You need to work on your meditation considering your body, considering your mind, considering your soul, work on your mind and improve yourself. I wish you all the best and God bless you.